What? I'm just as shocked as, as Sanji is. What? Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini, the source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime, and we're back with another One Piece reaction. Looking forward to getting back into this. Basically, the way that I do things is I show you guys a snippet of my reaction, and then usually what I do is I also talk about the music at the end of the reaction, but I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna actually have those videos separate. That means that instead of having the music analysis and the anime reaction one video, I'll just separate the two. Therefore, for those of you guys who are interested in the music analysis, there'll be a video for you. And of course, for those of you guys who are in interested in the reactions, there'll be a video for you as well. Still going to be four episodes per week. So if you're new to here, it's not going to matter. But either or, I'm looking forward to continuing to show you guys more of the reaction and the music analysis. So stay tuned this week because the music analysis for this week's episodes will be dropping and it's going to be featuring Brooke's little song that he did. So that was very exciting. I can't wait to show you guys that one. Of course, if you like this kind of content, definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. I do also Hunter x Hunter as well as One Piece and I'm going to also continue to drop the Tower of God as well so that should be really really fun. Of course I'm also a music producer so I will also be dropping beats and other cool music content so definitely be on the lookout for that. And if you would like to support me, then definitely go and head on over to the Patreon page because over there you guys can get early access. I'm about eight episodes ahead in both of the animes right now, so it should be a really fun time. Definitely go check it out, man, so we can have some fun together. Look forward to seeing you there. Without further ado, let's get into it, and I hope that you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, let's get into this. Did he kill him? I I would crazy. He might not be dead though. Oh, I forgot his ability. <laughs> wow, one of the worst generations coming after uh the Straw Hats. Oh, that's hard. They can get bigger? Oh, sh snap. Hmm. Oh, damn. They're ready for blood. The castle, castle fruit. Yep. Capone. All right. I just want to pause so that I know what his bounty is now. Capone gang. Okay, so his name was Capone. I'm glad I was able to uh, We were able to figure that out. All right 300 million the fire tank pirates. Ooh, but he's with big mom So is the fire tank pirates an alliance with big mom now or something? I guess we'll find out Oh no, so they got involved Vito Well, obviously, hmm, this is interesting. Obviously, we're going to see how things turn out. <laughs> Gente's castle? What? Dang. I like this guitar thing that's going on. <laughs> oh, that's Brook playing. What an interesting devil for power. Castle, castle. 
So he's completely turned into an actual... Wow. You probably can see from the inside. Wow. Interesting devil fruit power. Caesar is such a punk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did he just have this guy just... I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. That was fired. <laughs> he really had his right-hand guy just, like, light his cigar for him, like, in two seconds. <laughs> Yo, this Capone character, he's pretty interesting. Big Mama's Tea Party? Tea Party? Wedding ceremony? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? I'm just as shocked as, <laughs> as Sanji is. What? Hold on. I'm gonna pause this. What? Marriage? Big mom? Okay, so I've heard of the Vin Smoke thing before, but what does that mean? Like, what? When did this happen? He's supposed to marry somebody in Big Mom's crew? Is that what's good? <laughs> Yo, this. <laughs> I don't even know how to think about that. Okay. What? Interesting. All right. Does Sanji even know this person? Tea party? The 35th daughter of the Charlotte family. Does Sanji know this person? Well, I guess we'll find out. Because this is kind of crazy. Wow, I was not expecting that. I thought they were trying to kidnap him, trying to capture the straw hats or something. This is weird. <laughs> wow. An invitation. How's that possible? 3rd son of the Vinsmoke family? I remember that, yeah? Wow, that was a while ago. Interesting. I knew- I know about the red line. The red line's really interesting. South blue, north blue, okay. Hmm. Oh, that's what? <laughs> so, this is Big Mom's daughter? What is going on? What? Wow. <laughs> Hmm. Wow. That is so smart. By forcing a marriage by one of the crew members, they could take the straw hat to subordinates. That's oh, that's actually smart as hell. Wow, Big Mom is sneaky with that. Oh interesting oh boy they gotta try to take him by force why is Capone working with her oh duh oh dang oh what, the music oh snap this is mad intimidating, or not intimidating, intense, mad random. How intimidating is Big Mom? I think we've only seen her once, but she must be that much of a force to be reckoned with? That's wild, because we have Kai- Yo, these emperors are crazy. I can only imagine uh, Blackbeard and Shanks, of course. We, we already know how intimidating he is. And Kaido, too. Oh, man. <laughs> wow, sneaky.
So sneaky. Come on, they could definitely... Oh, well, yeah. Someone has to... Wow. Kapal's double fruit is actually pretty interesting. Phantom Gun Veto. Wow. <laughs> Another laugh. Really? That sounds. This is what I'm saying. Wow, this is just what I was saying. How intimidating is Big Mom? She is that intimidating? I've never- that's so crazy. <laughs> These laughs in One Piece are the best. What is going on? Wow, what a change of events. Sanji has an interesting past, it looks like. We're traveling, are, are we gonna learn about this? You know, now that I think about it, this is mad random. Oh, yeah! In the beginning of the series, right? I remember that Sanji's backstory, when they were talking about it, um, he was found at sea and he was about to die and he was saved when he was a little kid which means there was a time before he was obviously born up to or yeah right when he was born up to that point so that must be part of his past oh wow and we're gonna just learn this now is that what's gonna happen or maybe not i don't know this is just a guess because the name vin smoke that must be the part of his past that we don't know about because I was never. Exp wow. If that's the case, that is sneaky, man. Interesting. I'm just super interested now. Oh. Ah, Sanji always. <laughs> what did he say to him? Sanji's pissed. I just know that. Oh. Whatever he found out. Does Sanji keep a secret from the crew too? What is that thing? We're not going to find out this episode. I already know. And I know this music. It's coming. The drum. Boom. There you go. Dang. Yep. Ah. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This thing got wild. This thing got wild. What in the world? What in the world? Oh boy. Alright, that was episode 763 of One Piece. That was a juicy episode, man. Um, Obviously, we, just like I was saying, clearly there's a past to Sanji that we don't know about and I like I was saying before it must be at the time before he actually got picked up at sea before he became to be a cook on the Barati so interesting it actually makes sense because we you know we don't really know where he actually came from so Sanji must be a super important figure and that's why the name Vince Smoke is on the um on the wanted thing so that's just my guess that's just my guess but still why does big mom like i mean we know now big mama wants him to be married to her daughter clearly that makes so much sense because that basically means the straw has become the underlings which is crazy because if you want to basically take out some of the pirates you just put them under your control that makes so much sense but then clearly the vince smoke name must be also a reason that's just my complete guess Whatever the, this Vin Smoke thing is, I'm very curious to know. So I'm looking forward to learning more about this man. And they are screwed. We know that they got out, except for Sanji. So how did that happen? That's another thing that we're going to find out. So I guess we'll keep going, man. Oh, this, this anime, man, it, every single time you think that uh, it kind of, 
goes you just never know where this anime is gonna go that's why i love one piece man it's very interesting so yeah let's keep it going let's keep it going wow <laughs> did not expect that sanji trying to he's about to get married <laughs> that's wild <laughs> Very interested. I wonder what, how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. Uh, lots of questions. Lots of questions. Yeah, she's wild. Okay. Wow. All right, before I begin, I love the explanation of Big Mom, right? But then you also have Kaido and Shanks as well, right? And even Blackbeard. So my question is, as strong as Big Mom is, obviously we know how strong Shanks is too. Or we kind of know how strong Shanks is. Or we know how strong Shanks is. I shouldn't say that. You know, I've always wondered, is it a power struggle between the four emperors? Like, because my thought process is, what about the king of the pirates? Like, if Big Mom is that powerful, how come she didn't, is she, how come she is not queen of the pirates you know what i mean so I'm, I'm hoping that they kind of talk about this a little bit where it's like as powerful as they are but because maybe that there are other powerful pirates they cannot you know gain control or maybe as powerful as big mom is she still cannot find the one piece either if that's what she's looking for too so it's going to be very interesting to see how that turns out as well because i'm curious you know because the way that they're talking about these guys these guys like it looks like they're in a whole another league compared to all the people that we've witness so far so yeah capone was smart he was like i'm gonna just join big mom because i have no chance that's probably what happened here <laughs> i don't blame him that's probably why he's saying these things yeah you already know they're gonna take on an emperor at some point or at least luffy wants to oh what? Wow. Wow. I am very curious to know where this is going. Oh, they can't shoot Sanji. Wow. Ah. Uh, yeah, it does. Ah. Uh, you piss Big Mama off, probably. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Okay, because the reason why I'm saying, oh, <laughs> I know it's funny, it's because, okay, if that's the case, I'll, you know, I never even thought about this. Who are the people who write the, um, the wanted posters? I thought it was the government. That must mean that somebody on the seas, maybe a pirate, could be low-key working with the government. Is this the emperor's thing here going on? Is this... Oh, I, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm overthinking here, but he's he's like he was just saying someone had to write only alive Knowing that he had to be captured alive So somebody wrote it government, but if big moms knows about Sanji and the Vin smoke Maybe it's somebody who's also working with the emperors who's doing this. This is just my thought Oh, Okay, I could be completely wrong Yeah, damn, Sanji. We could have figured out together. What are they gonna... I'm sure Sanji kind of just kicks Caesar out eventually, too. The crew is always getting messed up, man. Are you mean to tell me that? All right. Are, is this going to be a situation or we're not going to see Sanji for like another 50 episodes? Because I'm feeling this right now. That's why I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Damn. 
This is the most? Wow. Wow. This got really dark out of nowhere. Oh, snap. Oh, that's the note. I've got to go see a woman. And it must be the daughter of Big Mom, I'm going to assume. Dang. Wow, this is interesting. I did not expect this. This kind of changes things now. Mad random. I'm getting very, very vibes of similar to Eni's lobby in the sense that the crew is about to go on this big, big mission to go get Sanji. I feel it. I Is this almost like a setup for this? I don't know. I could be wrong. But if that's the case, I'm excited because that means whatever's coming up next is about to be phenomenal. So that's just the, the feeling that I'm getting from this. Man. Wow. So that's what happened with Sanji, huh? Yeah, so Caesar is gone. I don't know why I'm thinking that Caesar stayed. You know, I like this guy. I like this guy, <laughs> the cat. I just wish the Duke and the Cat Viper could be like dope friends. That would be cool instead of being, you know, hostile towards each other. <laughs> a cat will always be a cat. What? <laughs> oh, Luffy. Your word. Luffy, I think it's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, Big Mom's daughter. What does she look like, too? Who is she? And is she powerful? The Vince. M oh. Oh, so the Vince Smoke family. Okay, cool. So people know about the Vince Smoke family. So they must be a big deal. Interesting. All right. I just wanted to know. Dang, Robin, you should know your history. It's like, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I love <laughs> Yo, I love how Book is just playing the guitar during story time. I love that. Yeah. Dang. Yo, there's no way. <laughs> Zoro's like, okay. Oh, but Zoro has a point. The Zoro does have a point. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Oh, man. Yep. Kaido. Wow. Wow, this is true. Oh boy. Mm. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Bruh, he literally just said everything that, once again, y'all, I'm gonna say it again. Dress Rosa has definitely been the most important arc so far because all of that happened in that arc. And now, because of that, look, look exactly what Zero said is about to happen. Yo, the crew, they, now they're dealing with emperors, like, they can't avoid it. Not even, um, you know, not even just the government no more. Oh, boy. Nah, they're not. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I love how Zoro's so carefree, he's like, whatever. He believes in Sanji's strength, that's probably what it is. I knew it. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Quietly. <laughs> Dang. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, just as I thought. This is just what I was saying. This feels just so... It just reminds me of the Ennies Lobby arc in the sense that it's not obviously like Robin's Rescue, quote-unquote, but just the idea that now they're going to have to go rescue one of their crew members again. This time it's going to be Sanji, but this is a whole different thing. So, oh, that means that they're going to have to go where Big Mom is now. My assumption is if the plans to go to Big Mom, they're going to have to go to the island of uh, some island that she she resides in, similar to what Doflamingo, um, so Doflamingo is. So do you mean to tell me if the next big enemy about to be Big Mom? Is that what's going to happen? Because if that's the case, bro, the way that they're hyping up Big Mom, I just wonder how powerful she is. If she's anything like Doflamingo, then Luffy's going to have a tough time. Because Luffy barely beat Doflamingo with Gear 4. As much as Gear 4 was tough. So, is this foreshadowing of a battle between Luffy and Big Mom? We'll find out. But wow, very interesting. So, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But like I said before, Zoro is completely right. Like, they are targets, the Straw Hats. They're going to be targets from Kaido. Clearly, Big Mom has a target on them because of Sanji and um the government of course obviously with the bounties so it's gonna be very interesting and who are these vin smoke people you know you don't know very little information about them but it's interesting man w what makes one piece so interesting you know this is such a long anime and because of its length there's a lot of room to really layer a lot of different things and it's very interesting because you know, we would have never thought that we would get to this point, specifically with Sanji. We saw Sanji's backstory already. We did, right? But now there's more to it. And that's what makes things interesting. And like I said my, before, this is just my guess, but this has to be before Sanji was washed away at sea, before he got picked up. So it's going to be very interesting to see if we actually get another backstory to kind of complete Sanji's backstory. And what I find mo most interesting about this is that they took... 700 something i don't know what the chapters are in the manga i haven't read the manga so i'm just gonna say episodes 700 something episodes to get to this point to really start to kind of dig more deep into a little more about sanji so what an interesting way to bring this up so i'm very curious to know what's going to happen with sanji you know are we going to go to an to the island where um big mom resides that's going to be the next step. So clearly, I don't think they're going to be here in Zell for that long. That's just my assumption. I guess Zell was kind of like a bridge to get to the next part, which is probably, you know, where Big Mom is going to be. So I guess that must be the next major, major arc. So I'm very curious to know how that's going to turn out. Um, this is just a guess. You know what I'm saying? So very, very, very excited, man. Wow. Very interesting story. Very interesting story. He is true, but I don't. He's pretty messed up, though, so I don't know how much is going to be. What's this? Oh boy, bees! <laughs> I think Zoro could take care of these pretty quickly. Oh come on, yeah, you know the crew can handle these guys pretty easily. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, hockey. Duh. I like it. Everybody's fighting together, but I miss Sanji already. Woo! About time Chopper gets some action here. Good, they're all fighting together. That's cool. For once, Usopp didn't just back out of this. Mm -hmm. 
That's great. Are about to get a song from Brooke? <laughs> I love it. Yo, I love this. Yo, this sounds like an opening. Oh no, it sounds like a closing. <laughs> Not opening. Damn, they went in on this song. Gee. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. That guitar. Oh, now me getting the feels. Look at her. <laughs> oh, are they doing the um? I don't mean to pause. It's so funny to me. That is so funny. So they're doing this thing. It's called rounds, pretty much, if I'm not mistaken. It's been so long since I we did this. But in elementary school, we do this thing in a lot of classical songs where you can play the verse of a song, but then you have another group who plays the same verse, but they wait like a little bit. So the first verse will go, and then they'll play the second verse like maybe halfway through, and then they're both kind of playing over each other at the same time. And I heard that in this. <laughs> This is going to be a music analysis part. It would be pretty cool. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Repeating the same line to this. <laughs> oh my god, that is great. <laughs> Yo, you singing falsetto. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. I love this. <laughs> wow. Alright. We all know there's no drum players here. Imaginary drums. You guys cannot tell me this sounds like a closing. Like at the end of an episode. Oh, of course the ladies do. <laughs> That's pretty cool, y'all. I like that little touch. I like the aggression of his voice too when he was singing that. So, hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a big giant whale tree. So they're in the center of the island then. Of course. Am I going crazy, y'all? Because I thought there was that guy from Thriller Bart. I could have sworn that that was him, but maybe I'm going crazy. You guys can let me know in the comments or whatever at some point. I really thought so. I really, really, really thought so. So let's continue. <laughs> oh. Ooh, child. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh chop. <laughs> I love it. I was just thinking about that too. I was like, yo, what if like Chopper meets one of these uh, animals and then they just he just falls in love with them? I really was thinking of that, and here he is, <laughs> the perfect right there. Ooh, got a chew. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. For those of you guys who may not know what that is, that's referencing Beethoven's. I think it's a uh, Symphony Number no. Five. You know that very famous phrase. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> I love how this episode is so lighthearted and musical. Yeah, I just want- I don't understand why the Duke and the Cat Viper can't get along. I guess it's because of the concept of dog versus cat. <laughs> I know. Animals will always be animals. 
<laughs> or minx, I should say. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Chopper just knows exactly what the deal is. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yo. That's how I really be feeling when I take shots too though. I hate shots. I'm so curious to know more about Sanji. Of course. Of course. Wow. Alright y'all, that was episode 765 of One Piece, man. That was really, really good. I like that. What a fun episode. Um, I just love the lightheartedness of it. I love the music. That was just great. <laughs> With Brooke. I love the cat viper. I love his personality. It was pretty cool. I'm glad everybody's back together. And then I loved how Chopper was just falling in love. <laughs> for, that other, for that other mink. That was great. That was really great. So I'm excited to get into this next one. And, um, you know, really, I'm more interested in this Sanji story. I'm glad that we're slowly starting to learn more about Sanji and what's going on. So... I cannot wait because we know how Oda is until we get a backstory that really goes into depth on Sanji's story that we never really knew about. It is so crazy, once again, to see how Sanji, out of all the characters, I wonder why why specifically Sanji, you know what I mean? So it's very interesting. Uh, and when I say specifically Sanji, in the sense that like Oda could have picked any other character. It could have been Chopper. It could have been Zoro. I wonder why he decided to choose Sanji to have like this extra backstory of some sort. If that's what's going to happen. I could be completely wrong. But I'm going to assume that we will get some a little bit more about his past. And this whole thing with the Vinsmoke family. So that's another thing. The Vinsmoke family is also associated with Big Mom. So this whole thing is about to blow up pretty much um so it seems like it's gonna be real good so with that being said y'all um let's hop into the last episode of this week's reactions oh <laughs> That was great. I love how Luffy just twisted that. He's like, well, if I get married, maybe you're my subordinate. <laughs> she is. Luffy has no idea. Damn. But Luffy's always been fearless. See, everybody knows in the New World. That's wild. Oh, what? Oh. That's messed up. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah! What? Wow. 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 This is interesting. Wow. This is so interesting to me. I'm just pausing, y'all. Sorry, but I just wanted to speak on this because that's so crazy. I love this concept and parallelism of the idea of power on all of this. It's like, you know, it's kind of like in real life where it's like you can have a ruler somewhere out there. They're so powerful. They have control of so much in the world that they just have so many connections and they can just figure out information on people. That's crazy. Wow, they are hyping up Big Mom to be this crazy individual i'm expecting her to be insane i swear if she's if she's falls short i'm gonna be pretty mad but i don't think she will but she better 
Uh, I she needs to be top tier villain level for me. The way that they're talking about her, ah uh, man, this could be so interesting. Oh. Wow. Oh, Luffy's not going to take that. Wow. No, Luffy. No, Luffy. What? What? No, Luffy. No, Luffy. There's no way. I love them. You guys know the song. Dun, 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 but I, I can't. Ugh, I can't do it because I'm. Uh, <laughs> oh. Man. <laughs> Kill him now. Oh, Luffy, don't go by yourself. Oh, please don't do that. I don't think that's a good idea. Zoro, please go with him or somebody. There he is. <laughs> Yeah, right. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, Luffy's gonna love that guy. For sure. Gonna give him the biggest guard chew. <laughs> Yo, when my cat is hungry... When my cat is hungry, my cat loves doing exactly. I, mean, I think I mentioned this before. My my cat will do that sometimes, where he'll just randomly start just rubbing his cheeks all over, just because. <laughs> Especially when he's hungry, it's so funny. It's cute though. Wow, man, the Charlotte and the Vince Smoke family. I wonder who Sanji's father is, like what he looks like. Oh, we haven't seen Law in a minute. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe Luffy and Law should go. Law is such an interesting character. Loki, he knows he wants to be friends with the Straw Hats. He just, he'll never admit it. Especially after what happened. Yep. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I love it. So I wonder I love this. <laughs> I love this. It's like a contrasting. But I'm just curious to know if Law and is going to kind of just join them. I guess technically they have to kind of stick together at this point. I mean, well actually the smart thing would be to be separate. But I don't know. Wow, everybody's having a good time. I love it. <laughs> Very cool. Wow, look at Zoro chilling. Wow, what is that? Lasagna? Wow. Wow, they're not going to have Sanji's cooking for a while. I just realized that. Hey. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey. I like that. They're going to have to leave the island at some point. So I wonder how that's going to work. You already know everybody always gets knocked out after a night of drinking. Oh, I see why it makes sense to hide on Zoe too. Mad random before we continue. 
uh, it, it, make, it makes sense to hide in Zoe because Zoe is always moving. So they would be able to kind of hide here for a while until someone can come find them. Now, Kaido's crew kind of came once already, as we know, but we don't know if they're going to come back here. So we'll see. What was that? I don't know. We don't even know if Jack is actually alive or not. Although, they, it seems like Jack is dead, but I don't believe that. Mm. That would really turn the tables. They can't deal with that. They have too much to deal with. I'm hoping they can accept it. Wow. Don't let that happen. Oh, man. I completely forgot about them climbing up, too. Damn, that's a shame. Ah. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is going to change things. Crap. Dang, this, things are about to just blow up. Dang. Alright, y'all. That was episode 766 of One Piece. Um, first and foremost... I feel like we're st I'm finally starting to get there, making a dent, y'all. I mean, let's see. I don't know what episode number they're on exactly now, but they're definitely in the 900s some somewhere. So we definitely got what less than 200 episodes left, right? Because 100 episodes from now would be 866. And let's just assume that I don't think there's 100. I don't even think there's 950 episodes left. So less than 200 episodes left, y'all. Wow, we're getting there. We are getting there. Holy moly. Oh man. I'm gonna be it's gonna be very cool. I'm I'm very excited for this. Um The one thing that I will say is um This episode is interesting, you know what I mean? I love the continuing humor. But uh, now that law is there, my question is, you know. Are Luffy and Law gonna just go there together? Luffy already made a decision. He's gonna go to the Big Mom Pirates. Big Mom's, wherever Big Mom is. The question is how? He cannot do this by himself. If Luffy goes by himself, that's a recipe for disaster. He cannot go by himself. I'm, I'm hoping that him and Law can go or something. But then Law also made a point. Kaido's crew will eventually find out what happened at Dressrosa. And then he is going to come after them. That it, there's no doubt about it. So how's that gonna come into play? Could you imagine if Kaido and Big Mom were going after Luffy at the same time? That would be crazy, 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 crazy. Um, and then this whole thing here at the end, completely forgot about the samurai. And now that they're there, the minks don't like them like that. And of course. Robin, Frankie, and Brooke, they fell asleep. So now they're going to be in the island, which is going to make a whole situation. I'm hoping that Luffy can vouch for them. Because if not, that means they're going to blow up even more. And I hope that doesn't happen because they have a lot of other problems to deal with. So it's going to be very, very interesting. So I look forward to, um, to seeing all of that. So without further ado, y'all, thank you guys for watching this week's set of episodes. Uh, reactions, of course. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little tired right now, but um, yeah, until the next video, my name is Robertini the Source, and I'm a music producer. Don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. Until the next video, I'm out, y'all. Hey, y'all, before y'all get going, of course, definitely go hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this, and be on the lookout for the music analysis and more anime and music production content coming to you soon. All right, guys, I'll talk to y'all.